Hey ServiceNow community and welcome to the update set, your all killer, no filler video roundup from the ServiceNow community news team. This month's special, we're serving up the merged update set because July's episode didn't quite ship. So you're getting a double feature of dev highlights all in one, and it pairs perfectly with both the last two latest Community Cafe newsletters. If you prefer to read instead, the QR code's right here on the screen, the link's in the description, you know the drill. I'm Christy Merriam, and in this episode, we're talking TechNow 100, debugging workflows, Zurich updates, mobile dev, and a spotlight on community voices that you don't wanna miss. So let's get into it. We're gonna kick things off with some headline news. TechNow hit episode 100 back on July 31st, celebrating the Zurich release. Two of the biggest highlights, they have sandboxes, giving us isolated environments to build without breaking each other's stuff, and source control and the new ServiceNow Studio finally bringing versioning to the unified dev environment that we live in every day. If you haven't watched it yet, grab yourself a snack and settle in. It is a great tour of Zurich features built for developers. And speaking of fresh looks, the community cafe itself had a glow up. New graphics, a refreshed logo, and now you can find it not on just LinkedIn, but also on the ServiceNow community. Plus, the Zurich Content Archive continues to grow from creative toolbox episodes on flow designer enhancements to studio deep dives. It's basically the binge list of Zurich content that you didn't know you needed. And don't miss our latest AMA where advocates are joined by David Merch, one of our product managers for the mobile platform team. He shared insights on mobile development and how to shape your career in the era of AI. Professor Idris is in session. That's right, ServiceNow University just dropped a fresh batch of learning content and Idris Elba, yes, the one and only Idris, is here to help you future-proof your career. SNU offers free AI-powered learning tailored to your style, and it's built for the real world, backed by the community, and it's honestly a really solid way to level up your game. Start your journey with the recommended courses in the link below. And finally, rounding out the archive, Travis Tolson gives us a peek behind the curtain at CreatorCon C3. If you collected the cards or you've been watching from afar, you will love this dev breakdown of what it took to create a game for thousands of attendees. And spoiler alert, it was not magic. It was just a lot of JavaScript. All right, let's move into developer tips and tricks, AKA the part of the show where your brain gets stronger just by watching. First, we have Flow Debugger and Workflow Studio, where Rai Kapoor shows how the redesigned debugger gives you step-by-step -step visibility, a cleaner UI, and a debug sidebar so that you can catch flow errors before they cause tickets. Next, JavaScript pretending that it's Java? Well, sort of. ServiceNow MVP Mike Sigadow shared how to simulate constructor overloading using ES12's map object. He applied it to his Glide Record implementation class with five different initialization patterns, cleanly and a simple constructor. If you're designing reusable libraries, this one is a must read. Then there's Glide Servlet URI. It sounds simple, but it's a little sneaky. And Anish Ragu breaks down where it really lives and hints it is not in sys properties and when it's safe or very unsafe to use it. Fast forward to August where Earl Duque walks through using source control in Studio, now officially part of Zurich. Plus he's got another blog on Studio enhancements like AI files, a smarter app page, and better visuals. And for the adventurous among you, Earl also built a Discord bot that syncs chat into ServiceNow and talks back using Flow Designer. And MVP Rompria walks you through a flow that auto labels block stories and agile visual task boards. No more guessing who's stuck, now the board's gonna tell you. Now let's shift gears to my favorite part of the show where we shine a light on our community. In July, we spotlighted Tosin Dada, a ServiceNow MVP, Senior Business Process Analyst and co-organizer of the Nigeria Developer Meetup, which by the way, has grown to over 1,500 members. She is proof that leadership in the ecosystem is not limited by geography. And in August, the spotlight turned back to you. Laura McManaman put together a crash course on how to start creating content. From picking your audience, to scripting, recording, editing, and sharing, it's approachable, it's low cost, and it is a great way to give back to the community. All right, let's talk about events because your next big opportunity to learn, connect, and kind of nerd out is just around the corner. On the live code front, we've officially entered the multiverse. I host Second Breakfast every Monday, 
Earl's got 11Zs on Wednesdays, and Travis holds afternoon tea on alternating Wednesdays. And of course, we have Mark and Ishan who show up with unofficial happy hour whenever the mood strikes. Earl kicks things off with Promptception, lending now his skill kit and service portal wizardry. Looking ahead, World Forum Chicago is coming September 18th, our very first U.S. stop in the World Forum Tour, packed with hands-on AI sessions and community fun. And that's a wrap on this merged update set. All the content and no merge conflicts. We'll be back on schedule next month, unless, of course, someone forgets to push their update sets again. In which case, hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I'm Chrissy Miriam reminding you that if you're not commenting your code, your future self is already probably pretty mad at you. Stay classy, ServiceNow community, and we'll see you next time.